So in this video, I'm going to do a quick video audit of some of the things that I noticed that I think would help improve the sales and profitability for Astrid and Frank. Feel free to steal some of the ideas that I have in this video and use it for yourself. You know what? I'm not going to be mad about that. In fact, I'd actually be a little bit flattered, right? So let's get into it. So we take a look here. We can see that you're running quite a bit of ads, which is quite good. I do like the music, but you do talk a lot about the functional benefits of the product when you should focus on the emotional benefits of the product, right? Now, what do I mean by functional benefits? So functional benefits would be like slits. You know, I'm not really sure what this means. You know, this one is like the sleeves kind of thing, right? So that's functional benefits. What the clothing is made of, you know, soft, elastic, those are the things that are uh, more functional than emotional. So in order to create effective advertising, what you need to do is you want to focus on the emotional benefits of the product, right? So the emotional benefit of the product starts with defining who your audience is. I'll give you an example here, right? Let's say that this was the product I was trying to sell, right? The It's really hard to see here, the Vilda top. So for the Vilda top, let's just say one of my audiences that I wanted to test was, you know, how this was the perfect date night t-shirt, you know, and then you really describe a feeling of going to the date, you know, your first date, you know, you're feeling that jitters inside, you know, and then you meet this really incredible guy. And, you know, you, what the point there being is you're describing that really, really good feeling that they're going to get when they wear this particular top. Right. Because at the end of the day, when you, you buy all these different types of clothing as a form of self-expression rather than as kind of a more functional aspect. Right. It's not a problem solving problem like a grill or something like that. It's more of a form of self-expression. So you really want to focus on getting those emotional benefits. Right. Right. So another thing here. Whoops. I did not want to do that. But. Um, that doesn't matter. Another thing is just making sure you have a call to action like shop now, get yours now at the end of the video here. Now, if we take a look here, we do see that you're taking them to the product page here, which is good. Do think that you should keep that up. But if we go to the, uh, the checkout page here, we see that you're not having any, uh, any upsells here. Now, this is a big mistake, right? Because think about it. You know, you could easily increase your average order value, whether that's buy one, get one 20% off. Basically, you don't have to spend any money, but you're still increasing your profit and your uh, and your sales by just selling one more unit per person, right? So you want to make sure that you use upsell, use complimentary products, for example, here. You know, if you buy the dress, hey, why not buy a pair of shoes or why not buy these sandals or why not buy uh, a hair tie or something? Think of some complimentary products that really go together and sell those together to increase your average order value. And then that's an easy way to gain the profitability that you're really looking for. Right. So what I want to show you now is I want to show you something called the advertising core four here. Now, this is a really important system that you need to get right. Like you could hire the best advertising agency in the world, but if you don't get this right, it's really hard to make things work. So it consists of having a good product. How competitive is a niche? Are there any main features or things that differentiate yourself from the rest of the competition? Is an audience, do you understand your audience's needs and desires? Your offer, can you convince them to click? And funnel, does your product page or landing page convert? Do you have a high enough average order value? And would you buy from your own store? So you add these up on a scale of 1 to 20, and you typically get a score out of 20. So 10 and below means you're not ready for ads. 11 to 16 means you need traction. And 17 plus is you're ready for growth and scale. So I'd like to invite you to at this point is a call with me where you really audit your advertising core for to see where the improvement areas are and see what your score is so you know what to do next and what improvement areas so that you can either go ahead and improve it on your own or you can see how our agency can help you improve the score to get the results that you're looking for, get that growth and scale going. So if you're interested in that, feel free to click on that schedule link. should be somewhere in the video or in the description and schedule time to talk. I look forward to 
you know, speaking with you about uh, your business. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful, and thanks for watching.